Taking a fresh look at the damage from the CZU Lightning Complex fire raging in Santa Cruz County. This video from the Boulder Creek area where more homes went up in flames this morning. Fire's footprint stretches from southern San Mateo County into Santa Cruz County where most of the firefight is taking place. KPX 5's Don Lynn is live in the evacuated town of Felton with the latest on the firefight. Hey, Don. Hi, Brian. You know, for the residents and the firefighters, it's so deflating to see the fire destroy more homes this morning. That's why they're celebrating those little victories when they can save a home or a business. A small spot fire turned into a big threat for the Sequoia Retreat Center in Ben Lomond this morning. Flames surrounding the property. About a dozen volunteer firefighters and the Menlo Park Fire Department spent a few hours to put it out. Some residents who refused to evacuate also jumped in to help. Ben Lomond Fire Department has been up here along with our on site manager. Um, has been fighting fires up here for four days, pretty much without sleep. We were pretty much on our own for a while. Um, couldn't get Cal Fire up here or anybody. So Ben Lohman has been coming up quite often. And uh, they helped us all day yesterday. We saved a lodge and about 20 cabins below. It's a small victory after flames destroyed multiple homes on Broke Lane and West Park Avenue in nearby Boulder Creek. It's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. We find hope and then we see devastation. Fast moving flames chased the Roach family out of their Bonnie Dune home. They're staying at a Santa Cruz motel, not sure if they'll have a home to go back to. We're all in shock. I think that's just the word. It's in shock. It's in shock. Some hotels near the Santa Cruz boardwalk are filled with evacuees. They are among the 77,000 residents who have fled the Santa Cruz mountains. At a nearby evacuation center, roughly 70 people are staying at the Civic Auditorium. It is full. They go through a coronavirus screening process and temperature checks, and each person has a tent. Mentally, it's, it's terrible. I mean, um, we stand to lose everything that we have. Coupled with the pandemic, uh, it, it's like a double whammy. Many evacuees are trying to stay positive. I'm just happy to be alive, so I, I don't try to dwell on that too much. What I'm seeing from people helping one another is bringing tears to my eyes more than it is at the possibility of losing my home. Uh, Di, you're in Felton, and Felton's been evacuated, so I'm curious about two things. How far away reinforcements are, and the second is, you know, from your perspective, can you see where the plume of smoke is from the, the you know, the main fire they're worried about? No, it's hard to see the active flames because, I mean, the flame, uh, the smoke is so thick, you can barely see mm. what's behind some of the trees. Uh, visibility is very poor. In terms of reinforcement, uh, just before 5 o'clock, six engines from the L.A. County Fire Department came in. This morning as I was driving in, I saw uh, a crew, a fire crew coming in from the state of Washington. So firefighters from other states are coming in, uh, but residents here are saying still not enough and not fast enough. They're saying that we need reinforcement right now, not tomorrow, not two days from now. They're calling for the National Guard. And you saw some of those uh, folks refuse to, to evacuate. They're jumping in to try to work on their uh, homes or their neighbors' homes, So, which is not something that the Sheriff's Department or firefighters would recommend. But they're just desperate. They want to save their homes, which is understandable, but it also makes it very dangerous. Uh, there are about 1,100 firefighters up in the Santa Cruz Mountains right now. But uh, there's so many homes up here, and residents say they need a lot more people to try to guard those homes. Yeah, boy, they're spread so thin. Dahlin in Felton, duh. Thank you.